and welcome back to another fabulous very own channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Books Corner, and today we are starting The Deep by Nick Cutter for my first book of the year. I will mention it's January 6th, Friday. I'm gonna go see two movies today. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited for it, but I am here to update you guys on the first update. I am 30 something percent in. I originally had updated you guys with a much more descriptive reading why I chose this and meaning, and I just don't think that intro really speaks to me anymore, and so we're just gonna scrap it. I'm also, this is the year of no synopsis, and I think this is a perfect video to announce that in. When I go into a book this year that I've never read before, I'm just gonna go into it completely blind. You guys don't know this, probably, I normally normally do that. I normally just don't read synopsises and stuff. I tend to do it if it's like a specific book video, like Alex Stern or the new Cassie Clare. I was like, what are these about? And I just, I just, I realized I don't want to do that. I just want to read it to read it and go in blind. So we're just reading it to read it and go in blind. So the only thing I knew about the deep, because I did have to read a little bit of the synopsis because I was going through like six or seven different titles and figuring out which one spoke to me the most, is that it was about someone who's going down into the trenches of the ocean, very, very deep into the ocean, like seven feet or something like that, to to go find this thing that can cure the disease that's going on above. And that is really essentially what this book is about, for sure. That's true. It's it's deep. It's deep. My issue that I'm having with it, that I'm, I mean, like, for a few things. One, the body horror is not that gross. I'm not that grossed out. I don't know if it's because I'm reading it too fast. They really do need to slow down and maybe take my time with it. And maybe that's something I will, I will do once we get halfway through the book. I need to get halfway through it today, guys. It just has to happen. I don't know if that's it. And I'm just not, like, really experiencing it. We are in part three. The parts are moving really quickly, which is great. It's a very fast moving book. But there's these slog moments of family drama that are just so annoying that I'm just like, yeah, I believe in character development. I want to know the reasons why these two characters are super important to the story are at odds. This is something that does interest me. This is something that I'm curious about. I'm curious of what their relationship got to hear, why this call came. But also, like, on a side note, I'm also really interested in a few plot developments with that as well. I can't talk about it. I just realized that's what we're... And I don't know. I'm just, it's not what I wanted so far. 32% in. I'm really hoping, because now we're we're in there, we're in the, the bigness of it, that maybe it'll get really, really good and really, really exciting and really heart pounding and really graphic. Like, I'm ready. There's like five characters. How bloody can this get? Maybe there's mind control. It'd be really cool if there's mind control and then there's like someone who's trying to hunt them down. I really don't know. I could have just spoiled something. Who the fuck knows? Not me. The next update I'll give you is the 50% check in. How I'm feeling halfway and then we'll do a 75% check-in um, how I'm feeling that way and then we'll, we'll close out the vlog hopefully the final clip will be here again but the next two should be different places around my room so it's not just so stale I don't like a stale vlog and I don't vlog myself like the B footage of it so that's the plan all right I'll see you guys all then here's the thing this book sucks I thought I don't know what I thought okay but I had this idea in my head that we were gonna go underwater and then it was gonna be describing the water and we're gonna describe the creatures inside the water and that because in the description which I didn't talk about so this could be a slight spoiler for anybody who doesn't want any spoilers or anything in this book it could be a slight spoiler so the screen will turn black and white it had said something of like once they go underwater something horrible happens and they're being hunted or something like that in the description which I strongly believe is miss selling the book Due to other spoiler reasons, which I'm not going to get into because I've been trying not to do these spoiler free. There is a main issue I have with this book. There's two. There's not enough time for character development, even though the author is trying really hard to develop characters. I would say 96% of this book, at least in the first 50%, the, at least the first like 48% of the book is dedicated to these two brothers in the relationship with their parents and um, the main character's relationship with other people around him specifically saying things under the lines like people he's dated relationships marriages and or like children that my friend is the biggest thing about this book that's main issue number one is because there's like 96 flashbacks there's a flashback every other chapter so the chapters are like four or five four or five pages long maybe six pages long and then we have a flashback and then we have another one then we have another one and we have another one and it's supposed to be building towards these horrors that the actual story is actually about. I feel like, okay, I'm having the same conflicting thoughts and opinions as would I recommend this book? For sure. You like Nick Cutter? I recommend. Would I recommend for books that people who like gory stuff? 
yes, it's extremely gory. It's very body horror focused and lots of blood and gore going on from almost the very beginning. So yeah, if you're into that, it's for you. I just think that I'm having somewhat of the same issue I had with Riley Sagar with his debut novel, Final Girls. Final Girls was promoted as one thing and it ends up being more of a character piece talking about PTSD. This is promoted as one thing and ends up being more of a character piece talking about family trauma and what that can do to one person's mind and how care how siblings are supposed to reenact with one or the other. It's hard to explain for sure, ultimately without giving any spoilers. And so I think that's the issue I'm having with the book is that I signed up for something completely different than what I'm receiving. Not my fault. I just assumed something completely different on very little, to be fair. It was very little. I also was like really looking forward to another night cutter and I just, this is not a hit for me. I'm going to update you guys when I finish it and we can move on. I really hate the fact that my first read of the year is going to be like a two star, but I can't do anything about it. I tried really hard not for this to happen. But to be fair, my original first read, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, would have been more like one. I guess we went up. Not by much. And that's all I got for you. I'm fucking pissed. Guys, I'm going in here to end this vlog. I finished the book. I did it. I feel accomplished. I'm ready to play The Last of Us and uh, move on from this book. This book was horrible. I hate it with a passion. Ah, so annoying. I guess we got something out of it. And we're going to talk about the other book I didn't like either in this, this little section as well because I did DNF it. And I ended up reading a 2.25 stars is what I landed on, which is pretty bad. I just didn't like it. The gore did nothing for me. I didn't find it disgusting or disturbing or anything like that. I didn't find the characters very likable. And I, even for a book like this, which I don't thing has to have extremely likable narrators. I think because it's such a family driven drama that you as a reader want to like the character, just want to try because of all the things happening. And I couldn't, I couldn't find one resemblance of things that I really enjoyed about the character at all, which made me sad. It just made me sad. This whole book just made me sad. Okay. Not like sad and like in a way I'm sad for the book, but I'm like, I think if Nick Cutter had a better narrator, not better narrator, but no, a better editor. I think this book could have been so much better. It's a little too bogged down by flashbacks that do have a place that it ends up going by the end, but I didn't think it was worth it, in my opinion. I don't know what the star rating is, either on Goodreads. I'll probably end up using Goodreads star ratings for if we're talking about them and stuff. And knowing the synopsis actually ended up hurting this book, and so I'm really happy we're in the no synopsis era of my life because I can never be <laughs> can never be burned so badly again. So bad. Okay, so yeah, that's my first read. It was bad. Very sorry to announce it. I had much better last year. But my movies were great. My first movie was great, was a five, and my second movie was a four and a half. So like, movies were, were doing great. So I guess it's fine that, you know, this is where it's at. On a side note, I do want to talk about Breaking Time by Sasha Osberg real quick. I'm not going to do anything else on this. I'm doing a video on TikTok describing why I DNF'd it and thing in a little more detail. But with this one in particular, just now I got like 30 something percent into it. I was filming the vlog and everything and the writing was so bad and just like everything was just not working for me. I just didn't think it was really well done or executed and I was quite bored to be quite fair, that like, I just felt like it was going to be like a one, a one and a half. And like, I wanted to start my, my year like on a four. Like I didn't even want a five star. Like I was, I was just over it. But now I'm really excited to be able to move on to other books on my horizon as I have so many other books I need to read. That being said, I'll tell you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. Did you guys like this book? If you guys did, please tell me the reasons why in the comments down below. Did something resonate with you? Did you find it really disgusting? Let me know. Did the deep part scare you? Because I found it very boring. <laughs> I'm so sad about it. So do, do let me know in the comments as I am genuinely curious. And I'll talk to you guys all next time. Goodbye.